let's talk about SQL injection in API. So first of all, what is SQL injection? This is one of the most popular web application vulnerability and it allows a remote attacker to interact with the application and manipulate backend SQL database. The attacker will be able to see sensitive information like username, password, credit card numbers and may be able to delete or modify them. Performing SQL injection in API is kind of similar to performing SQL injection in non-API websites where we put those SQL syntax in the address bar and the backend database just throw us an error. It's just the same. The difference is we are injecting those uh, payloads in the API endpoint. So how do we find those endpoints which might be potentially vulnerable to SQL injection? Basically, look for those input client input that is expecting to interact with the database. For example, there is some kind of input box which takes user input and send it to the backend. So look for those endpoints. And once we find those endpoint, we can just manually experiment with it by adding some weird syntax or payloads or we can just perform a fuzzing attack. Or you can also use SQL map. But in this video, we're going to see how we can fuzz for uh, SQL injection with the help of fuzzing payload in Burp Suite. Back again in our CR API vulnerable application. In this application here, we can see a functionality called add coupons. By clicking on it, we are provided an input box where we have to type in a coupon code, which will provide us a discount when we check any products out. So let's have a look at the endpoints or the requests that are being made when we click on that add coupon feature. So I'm gonna just add some random gibberish and it shows invalid coupon code and here we can see the endpoint. It's coupon validate coupon. So it's 500 internal server error because it's not a right one. So what we can do is fuzz for it as well as by using SQL payloads to find a right coupon. Also in the request tab, we can see coupon code with its data in a JSON format. So I'm going to start my burp suite. And here I'm going to capture that coupon code request and send it to Intruder. Here we are going to add our SQL payloads in this input area where we added our coupon code along with those double quotes. So highlight this and add it. The attack would be sniper of course. Payload type would be simple list. And here I'm going to load a list from my fuzzing directory in Seclist. In fuzzing I have this folder SQL. I am going to choose this file. Generic SQL txt file also if i scroll down a little bit you can notice that i added some non-sql payloads too so this file basically consists of all the sql and non-sql payloads now we can start this attack been waiting for a while and we didn't got a single hit well that's because our payload is being encoded in the request So what we can do is, in the payload encoding option, we can just uncheck this box, URL encode these characters, and start the attack again. And we can see the status code is 422 and common length is 447. After waiting for a while, we did got some hits with status 200 and a unique length 443. So non-SQL payloads got the hit and we have coupon code in here. What this first payload is, as we know this is a no SQL injection payload and this is a MongoDB query operator. It basically selects documents that are greater than the provided value. So this thing in here might have been greater than it, that's why it is showing us in the response with the selected coupon code. And $NE selects documents that are not equal to the provided value. And because of the unsafe 
processing and handling of data by this endpoint, we were able to find a valid coupon code. And not only in JSON data, we can fuzz for SQL injection in parameters, headers, or any other place. So, hope you like this video and thank you for watching.